the Golden Knights have made some front office changes. General Manager George McPhee is now the president of hockey operations, and the team elevated Kelly McCrimmon to general manager. For more on what all this means, let's go on to the team's headquarters in Summerlin, where Fox 5 Sports Director Kevin Bollinger is standing by. Well, John and Christine, the Golden Knights players have always said that it's not about one individual person, that it's about the collective unit, and that they learn that from the very top of the organization. It's part of the culture here with the Golden Knights. That's exactly what we saw here today. A move by George McPhee to give the Golden Knights a better structure for many, many years to come. Thanks everybody for coming. To outsiders, he's a face that may look familiar, but has spent most of the time in the background. But Kelly McCrimmon has been a key voice in everything the Golden Knights have done in the history of the organization. And now he's front and center. It's a fabulous organization, and I don't uh, think that's news to any of the people uh, in this room. But when you're living and breathing it every day, and you're as proud of it as uh, we are and the people that work and play for us, uh, it's pretty damn special. McCrimmon is now the general manager in Vegas after George McPhee selflessly gave up a title that he's held in the NHL for more than two decades to make sure McCrimmon didn't leave for one of several teams seeking him as their GM. As president of hockey operations, McPhee still oversees everything and says the best part about this is the front office will continue to operate as it always has, collaboratively. I don't know that I've done it, would have done it for anyone else. But it felt right, it felt natural, it's easy to do when it's the right thing to do. George is still the boss, Kelly's now the GM, but we're all still going to be together. Kelly and I are both going to grow more as a result of this. McCrimmon has spent 30 years in professional hockey, 27 with the Brandon Wheat Kings. And he said that even if he had left the Golden Knights for another NHL club, Vegas set the gold standard for how to do it right. And he wants to remain a part of it. If I went into a new opportunity and I did my job well, I would try and do exactly what we're doing here. The organization made a really good decision to hire him three years ago and made an even better one today uh, to, to make sure that he's here long term. So essentially the day-to-day -day operations don't change at all and it is business as usual here at the Golden Knights offices as they get ready for June's NHL draft and then of course they have some tough decisions to make in terms of guys on the roster who are unrestricted free agents and restricted free agents as well as pieces that they want to maybe bring up from Chicago to try and put together next year's team. That's the latest for now. We'll have much more throughout the evening. For now we are live at VGK headquarters in Summerlin. Kevin Moliner, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. The players are on vacation, but the business continues. Yes, and the band is staying together, like they said. Thanks, Kevin.